Hey everybody, this is Paul. Welcome to the 22nd tutorial in the Intermediate Algebra series. So in this tutorial and in the next few tutorials, I'm going to be giving some examples of some of the material I've covered so far. So the first type of example I want to give you is how to evaluate a variable expression. So usually with these type of questions, we're given some sort of variable expression, and then we're given these variables here and we're given values that are associated with each of our variables. So to solve a variable expression like this with given values we simply replace all of our variables with their corresponding values. So for example b becomes 3, a becomes 5, and c becomes negative 2. So let's go ahead and do that here. b squared is now 3 squared because of this right here and then we subtract 4 times a times c and a was given to be 5 and that's multiplied by c which we said was negative 2. So now we're looking at this as order of operations. So we have an exponent, we have subtraction, and we have two multiplications. So out of those the exponent goes first. So we evaluate this. This is 3 multiplied by itself two times. So 3 times 3, which gives us 9. And then we subtract 4 times 5 times a negative 2. So now we have a subtraction and we have two multiplications left. So we start with the multiplication on the left hand side first. And that becomes 4 times 5, which is simply 20. We'll put the 9 out front. And then we multiply that by the negative 2. Finishing up the multiplication here, we're left with 9 minus 20 times a negative 2. Now 20 times a positive 2 gives us 40, which means that 20 times a negative 2 gives us negative 40. So now we have some number and we're subtracting a negative number from it. So whenever we have a case like this, we can simply take the first number and treat the second number as a positive and put a plus sign in between. So 9 minus a negative 40 can be rewritten as 9 plus a positive 40. So 9 plus 40 is simply equal to our answer, which is 49. So let's go ahead and do one more example on this. And for the second example, we're going to do a minus b divided by c. So plugging in the value for a, we have 5 minus b, which is our 3, divided by c, which is negative 2. And we have 5 minus 3 is positive 2. And then we're dividing that by a negative 2. And then from a few tutorials ago, I explained that if you have a negative in the denominator, you can simply move that out front. So we're going to do that. We're going to write the negative out front, and this becomes negative 2 over 2. And then here we have some number divided by itself. So anything divided by itself is simply equal to the number 1. So this simply gives us our answer, negative 1. So there's a couple examples on how to evaluate variable expressions. So stay tuned for some more examples on some of the stuff I've covered so far. And I uh, hope you guys are enjoying this uh, playlist that I've been creating. So yeah, stay tuned. I'm going to create a whole bunch more videos in this playlist. So stay tuned for those, and we'll cover all the important parts of intermediate algebra. So thanks for watching. You guys have a great day, and if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe.